Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. So today I have a vlog for you all. Um, I've been really stressed out. The property manager at the building that I live in has been very difficult and I've been feeling super, super stressed. Something that I do when I'm feeling just a little overwhelmed by things is I try to do things that keep me present and that is cleaning. I normally do my little maintenance during the week and maybe try to do a little bit more on the weekend when I have more time, but this weekend, this was a doozy. I decided to go in, clean my kitchen, my bathroom, and my main living area. My kitchen kind of turns into a catch-all for, for certain things. If I, for example, wanted to like wash a bunch of fruits and vegetables, I'll just leave the bags on the counter. If I wanna make like pickled onions or pickled carrots, which I do still love pickled onions and carrots, um, I'll take out the ingredients and then forget that I was gonna make, <laughs> I was gonna make them. So I decided to go ahead and go through, wash everything that needed to be washed, prep vegetables, cause I like to prep them ahead of time. Even if I'm not necessarily cooking with them, peeling carrots, chopping them, chopping up garlic ahead of time, um, peppers, things like that. Just to have them ready to go when I am ready to cook is something that I like to do when I have some extra time and feel like doing it. And taking stock of things that I forgot because I normally do forget a couple of things. So just unwrapping all my fruits. I'll wash those off later. I use this um, this veggie wash that I got from Whole Foods. finish so what I do when I have a lot of dishes that I need to set out to dry I actually pull out both shelves of my dishwasher because I never really use it for anything else and I let them dry in that um, especially when I have a lot of bulky dishes that won't just sit up on my little mat up top there so yay it's clean now on to the bathroom I am moving all of my shampoos and conditioners and body washes out of the shower. And as much as I love tile, I kind of hate it too. <laughs> 
I mean, it looks great, but it can be a pain to clean. This tile, on the other hand, way easier. And yes, I love to listen to podcasts or um, listen to talk shows while I'm in there cleaning. I feel like I get a chance to catch up on things that I've been meaning to for a while when I'm really in the zone. I also decided to pack a box to send to thread up to sell. Now I do have the results from this package and I'll make sure to include it. I didn't make very much from this particular box, which was a bit of a bummer. I was feeling very motivated that day and wanted to clear out the space. There's a lot of items that hadn't sold from my shop, so I decided to send them to thread up. So I just finished sweeping this whole corner. Yes, that is a hole in the wall that maintenance refuses to come put a cover on and do something about those. I taped it up there because I'm tired of it being down here. But anyway, this is all that was over here. I was I was kind of surprised. I'm a lot cleaner than I think I am. And then over here where I did this little corner where my dresser is, boom, another tiny pile. Okay, all right, so far so good. Please excuse my heavy breathing because I am a little out of shape. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this this short little cleaning vlog. I love to watch them myself, especially if there's a tip or trick to cleaning or staying organized that somebody mentions. I always love to, to hear how other people stay organized. I'll keep you guys updated on how this thing is going with the property manager. I was hoping to have good news uh, last month, but it didn't quite work out that way. So I'm just managing from day to day and we'll see how things turn out. But thank you guys for your support and watching my videos. You guys are so amazing and I'll see you all next time.